They're still headed for the planet. Guess we can duel it. There's no friction in space boots. Even deactivated, the missiles would maintain their original trajectory. So what does that mean? Are the missiles still active? Killing the Queen should have deactivated all Hive weapons and subsystems, including the missiles. You don't sound terribly confident. I'm confident enough to have come back here when I could have made off with your fighter instead. Impact in 10. Planet surface. Uh, do you want me to kiss you now or later? Later. <laughs> I question the choice of orders, Councilman. Do the critter fritters truly represent the constituency? Blast the hors d'oeuvres! Surely we owe these people more than a cocktail party. They saved our planet. You're right. Uh, perhaps a parade is in order. Shall we vote on it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll warm up the shuttle. <laughs> well, at least we got that shuttle fixed. How can you just walk away from this? Someone split that planet in half intentionally. How can you feel safe knowing someone has that kind of power? I'll manage. Kid, you're a coward and a quitter. So Ms. Tech went active behind our backs. Big deal. Until someone figures out how to use it properly, we're still in the running to make a fortune. Do you mind? We're having a conversation here. <laughs> Mister, I'm not asking you to go all the way with this. I just need two pieces of equipment. But we can even get them here on Cinder Station. Believe me. I wouldn't ask for your help unless there was no one else to turn to. Or you could come with me to the planet of Miztech. I'm close to deciphering a modular element system. I suspect the answer may be sitting in a library on Hephaestus. Or you could repent, you cold-blooded killer. <laughs> Maybe it's time for that new profession, kiddo. Maybe it's time you all let me drink in peace. <laughs> Please tell me this is a joke. Surprise! We've come to compensate you for all your generous help. Shoot me. <laughs> I told you they would be surprised. <laughs> oh, this is the best companion ever. Let's talk to the planet, shall we? After much debate, the High Council of Democritus has unanimously voted to join you on your travels. <laughs> Unanimous. I had plenty of objections. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> <Excuse us. laughs> yeah, what if we don't want your help? <laughs> Joining your quest is the least we can do for saving us. Our planet is at your disposal. <laughs> You've uh, lost weight. We've had the technology to shrink the planet down to this size for many years, but we could never find a practical application for it. Until now. Hmm. It's very true. What happens to the part of the universe where it was, though? Yes, well, that too, of course. We're very grateful. <laughs> Why didn't you shrink and hide from the hive in the first place? Oh. 
we didn't think of that. We did think of that. Ah. Plot reasons. Yes, you probably would have disappeared altogether. Yeah. <laughs> ah yes, exploring the galaxy as a planet. You brought your moons, I see. Yes, we have met some people. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, not right now. Maybe later. Uh, we've got some more tacos for this dude, actually. I'm hoping collectors will shift their attention to a mistake, leaving the market wide open for tacos. By the way, are you aware there's a planet floating behind you? <laughs> I am. Yes. Didn't I bring you some? Maybe not enough. I think he only uh, wants to mean batches of five or something. So, let's see. Yeah, we need some more. That's alright. Um, my wife leaves me, then Mystic becomes active. Now there's a planet walking around. What the hell's going on? I'm in a bad movie all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, ignore the planet. You know how in the movies there's always a drunk who sees something fantastic and looks down at his bottle and throws it away? Yeah. Well. I'm not that guy. In fact, I've always wondered if I'd react calmly to seeing something fantastic. I think I'm doing pretty well, don't you think? He's uh, referring to the planet at the door. Yes. Aha! I did get to Sunders. And I did make contact. And I did get the package before the world blew up. I am. Okay, so I have to go back to an Acronox for that. Always save when you can. Um, right, let's talk to our little robot buddy because he was very much against us killing those robots. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you're... Yeah, you're an adult if you act like one. Mm. I guess you bet I have. Let's go. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's talk to both Grumpos and um, Bro. To see what they need. Grumpus was to go to Hephaestus to investigate the library and Ro wants just some equipment to investigate what's going on with the planet exploding. So yeah why Hephaestus? It's home to the Order of Mysterium. We did meet one of the monks in the Mystic Museum earlier. They have an extensive library. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. What about that equipment for the Dr. Bowman? That probably is, yeah. Very true. Uh, not right now. Later. Yep. 
a new objective, and let's talk to her. So, will you help me get the scientific equipment I need to pr process my readings? Depends. What is this equipment? First piece of equipment is the Tachyon Decay Detector. Sh I think we saw that in the museum here. It will help me determine the source of the rift that splits under. The second piece is a field transduction module, which is the key core element of the tachyon decay detector. It'll be harder to get our hands on since it's a biohazard and illegal in this sector of the galaxy. But you're sure you can get it here? So, will you help me? Uh... What about Hephaestus? Believe me, I'm just as interested in Mystic as Mr. Matavastros. Mm. True. <laughs> Hephaestus is a tourist trap these days. I doubt there's anything beneficial to be learned there. Uh, where do we find these things? So yeah, there is one in the Science Museum. It's a prototype type I built back when the galaxy still took me seriously. I figure we can ask for it nicely first and if they don't hand it over we improvise. And that other thing? Gonna be a tough one. The red light district is a good place to score black market items. An excursion might be in order. Now you're talking sister. I've got a brinking bub buddy who dabbles in black market dirt. His name's Kivester. I'm sure the bum can hook us up if he's still around. So, will you help me? Alright. Uh, I think we'll help um, the doctor first. The doctor. Um, we now also have a spaceship. We can be kept Rose's spaceship so we can actually... Uh, go back and forth if we want to. Uh, yeah, so we need to locate the thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This will require some back and forth thing. There were a couple of things though that we definitely need the planet for. annoying because you can only take three people with well two people with you and we do have some more business in an acronox so I think unfortunately we'll be doing a lot of back and forth all right back on Sunday station Not much has changed here so far. Oh, what's that? What's up? Man, my toy swerver ship flew off. I can't find it. Could you try and find my swerver? It's my favorite. Alright, is it up here somewhere? I don't actually see it. Let's just have a quick look. I don't see anything here. Uh, when I played this game the first time without any patches, I couldn't see a ship either. It turns out it was a bug. Uh, and then one of the patches I used, an unofficial patch, added the ship back, but then that patch had other issues like crashing. So I'm not sure whether this is just a bug or whether I need to come back later or look for it elsewhere. 
but at the moment I'm not seeing anything. All right. Oh, hey. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we should go there. Oh, no, no. Ugh. That's the man. Yeah. Now, where is our spaceship? Is he giving me stink eyes on? Crazy Jebediah. So, show some respect. Okay. <laughs> I guess you there. Uh, euphoria. That's the only word for it. Mistake has ascended to its true position in the universe just as the Brotherhood of Mysterium predicted all these years. Once lifeless lags of Mistake currently in my possession have come to life in strange and incredible ways. To think I was on my way to sell them at the yearly Mistake Bazaar on Cordica. No one could ever convince me to part with them now. Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if Grumpus can convince him the uh, we don't have Grumpus with us right now. So. There are only about a dozen unexplored sender spikes left on Sender 1, and I'm going to fly into one today. They call them suicide spikes. So either I'm about to make history and discover a new region of space, or I'm going to hop into the sun <laughs> into a sun and burn up into dust. I never gave my girlfriend a proper, you know, like, goodbye. Tell me, would you take something to her? She's staying at Frank's flop house in Bricks. I was actually just going to an Aquinox, so yeah. Her name's Wanda. Take that bracelet to my girlfriend, Wanda, staying at Frank's flop house in Bricks, please. Yep, I will. Uh, hi there. Oh, he's got little action figures. Excuse me, son, he hasn't been the same since Crafton Comics went out of business. Crafton Comics went out of business. My El Puño action figure has Rage Might Punch action. I want to show it to you, but I broke it. Oh, he's not bothering me. How about you two? Uh, when you're planning to annihilate an enemy, the first thing you should destroy is their science base. If an enemy can't adapt to new te technology, they can be defeated quickly and easily. How well will our galaxy resist an invasion without the minds of Sunder on our side? They blew themselves up. It was bound to happen. Who knows what experiments they were conducting on Sunder? There's no Sunder conspiracy, just a scientist who took an experiment one step too far. Mm, both interesting theories, but uh, I'm afraid I'll have to go with the first one. I'm thinking this is the way to our spaceship. Spaceship. Oh, so many tunnels. Why is it so long? All oh, right. So here we can pick a place to go. So we are going to Anachronox. We've got some more um, Red BP photos to show that. Uh, oh, I keep forgetting. Wait, we're on platform two, so we need to go up. Don't we? Right. 
Right. Caution. Loitering on landing platforms may result in injury or death from engine exhaust. saw this um, tackle halfway between platform three and four. There must be a way we can actually access that. But I'm not sure how. a way that you can make the elevator go down without being on it but I'm not sure how to do that you can see there's a tackle I don't think we'll oh, look at the Roman skirt. I think this will be too too high up. Oh, actually. Mm -hmm. so this is the special skill that the Mokta says they can have a tractor beam. Now we can move on. There's uh, at least two heel greases I know of that we can pick up with the Mokotus. Hi there, I can't talk to a planet. Oops, sorry. Uh, one heel grease is in the fountain area on top of a, a beam and the other one is um, in the junkyard area on top of a sort of um, some sort of vehicle <laughs> How romantic. Hey there. Still can't go into the castle. Um we need to go to Frank's flop house uh, to drop off the bracelet, but we'll go to the fountain place first because we also need to talk to the um, resistance people. Mm-hmm. 
that guy still being sick. Alright, where was it? Here. enough for this. See that makes no sense because I thought that tackle was way further away. I couldn't even see it. But that wasn't a problem. Rowdies, that's where we're going. Hi. Ugh, no. Oh yeah, there's taxis. Forgot about those. <laughs> I said, when are you gonna harvest? Oh dear. Don't insult my hair. That's the guy we told not to sell his mistake. Man, am I glad that I kept that mistake. It really turned my life around. I got a new job, a new wife, hell, a new pair of kids. You're a real gents lie. Thanks a million. Okay, that's cool. Then. Glad we could help you, man. Oh, there's people on the dance floor. Hi there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. How about a planet? <laughs> He's just a dick to everyone around. Hi there. Cool. I'm sure I'm violating half a dozen safety codes by just letting you in here. Probably. There's a man we need to talk to. <laughs> I always suspected your moronic behavior was just an act. Yeah. Uh huh. I am awesome. I don't know. Yep. We've seen him. Hmm. Kazinox transition tunnel, eh? There's a little something. Aha! Ooh, a good shield cell. I'll use that straight away. Is it better? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, once again, it's twice the current one. We haven't given it anything to this guy. I think. Yeah. We will. So that was worth it. That was a really good shield cell. What else we got to do here? Ah yes. Frank's flop house. Oh 
all the way the other side. I guess we could take a taxi. Let's do that. Hi there. Um, well, maybe you could check the uh, Mystic Museum while we're here. Maybe they've got something to say about the Mystic. Oh, plus uh, the man with the bippies. I need to talk to him too. Got three more photographs of them. Oh, it's a lot more crowded now. Can you believe it? Something so full of power. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a shame. I don't believe any of it. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, yes. Yes, everybody just wanted to see if it was true. Uh, no. <laughs> He's the guard who managed to learn how to sleep standing up. The great awakening has occurred. <laughs> Affordable lectures. You don't know anything about mistake. Uh huh. I will make a pilgrimage eventually, just not today. <laughs> oh right, um, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> yep, at least we know what we're doing, hey? Eh? Thanks to Dr. Bowman. the scientists have anything to say about this though. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes, I did meet him actually. Oh. That's a... Uh, <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, uh. Okay, I'm sure he must have. Surely a connection exists between the destruction of Sunder and the awakening of Mystic, no? Yeah. <laughs> if this Destruction of Sundry is the price. We must pay for the awakening of Mystic. Let Cordica be next. <laughs> He's really, uh, there's something wrong with that guy, isn't there? Ah. Yeah. Oh, well, there's still one. At least because there are others who are traveling at the time but yeah most of them seem to be dead okay if to the uh, bippy man here is. Hi. Yes, yes. But you gave me credit for them, right? Yeah, only three more to find. Oh, it's the guy with the sock. <laughs> It did, thank you. Uh, go. 
and let's go to Frank's flop house now. Um, 